as a survival instinct, it was like an out-of-body experience that the real me, my soul, if you will, had left the body and was up there like a guardian angel, keeping watch on me. And the thing, you can kill the body but not the soul, it was sort of like that. We didn't, we thought the odds were pretty good that we weren't getting out of there alive, but it didn't matter. And reach that point, you can cope with the situation. Besides, you walked into the facility, whether it was the white side or the colored side as a group, and the police chief was there, move on and move out. They had the paddy wagon wait waiting. Um, did you hear me? You gonna do it? You're under arrest. And out you went to the paddy wagon and off to jail. I mean, there were 17 people in my cell that was made for four. And if you measured out the floor space, that worked out to less than three square feet of space per person. Well, you know, growing up, we, uh, we actually never knew her stories. Uh, we actually only knew the pictures. I, I like to kind of joke a little bit that her, her uh, sit-in photo is kind of her prom photo for us. And he presented this idea of a movie that would show that the people in the civil rights movement were just ordinary students he didn't say that I was the ordinary student and, you know, some contacts and I supported the idea and then it sort of slowly evolved after I'd already been hooked in that it's a movie about you, Mom. Uh, my father would be proud. My mother would be embarrassed, I think. But with the idea that you don't have to be a big name hold a big fancy position, you can just be the next door neighbor and make a difference for good. Really throughout history, it's really what makes, it's the soldiers in the field, it's not the generals. Um, and that my mom was one of those soldiers in, the, in this war for racial equality and that anyone can do that.